or you can be dedicated to a sport and you practice it and practice it and practice it and you do those things. But about the best illustration I've ever been able to think of is um, somebody, well, I used skydiving this morning. You can be dedicated to that or bull riding. You know, that guy that rides bulls, he practices and he works and he knows all the things that he's supposed to do. And he gets in there, they bring that little tiny 2,000 pound bull in the chute. And he slides down on there and he puts his hand in that rope and they pull that rope. He's dedicated. He wraps that rope around his hand. He's sitting there and he's dedicated to that. But he's not committed until they open the gate. He can still let go and say, ah, you guys are crazy. I'm getting out of here. So there's a lot of difference between dedication and committed. Once they open the gate, he's committed to that. Whatever's going to happen is going to happen. There's nothing he can do. So we need to be committed. We need to get to the point where we say, okay, God, I'm ready to open the gate. I've dedicated myself. I've worked. I've studied. You know, I want to step off in there, open the gate open to, to the Christian life that you'd have me to live so I can have that acceptable, so I can be acceptable before you. So we need to make sure that we're committed to the cause, committed to what God would have us to be. You know, and it, it's not always easy, but uh, nothing is. I mean, a sport's not easy. You're j- learning your job's not easy. Uh, those things are not easy, but we have to learn them. Then in verse 2, he also says, And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Okay? This is another choice we make. If our mind is going to be changed, it's going to have to be a choice that we make. We don't choose uh, just for nothing to happen. If nothing happens, we chose that to happen. So we need to be have our minds transformed, have our minds changed, and that only happens by the Word of God. And nobody's going to just pour the Word of God into us. It's a choice we make. We have to read it. We have to study it. We have to, to, to seek what God would have for us. Um, uh, we have to study God's Word for it to talk to us. If we don't, it, it'll never happen. The... Um, there needs to be joy in a Christian walk. Um, we're not, may, maybe we hear this all the time, we're not necessarily maybe happy all the time, but we need to have joy. We need to be glad. And the only way is to be glad for what God's done for us. Have that joy for what God has done for us. Um, uh, we don't have joy just because. We have joy because of where we're going and what God's done for us. You know, I've, I kind of have this saying, if we try to be happy, a lot of times we won't be holy. If our goal is to be happy, a lot of times we won't be holy. But if we, if our goal is to be holy, then we'll be happy. Uh, God will bless that. We'll try to be, we, we try to be holy because then that's what makes our joy and our commitment to God what it should be. In all of these things, regardless of where we're at here, it's our choice to make. We make the choice of whether we're going to be, we're going to stay that babe, whether we're going to be that carnal Christian. Um, as we saw in the Bible class this morning, there's these carnal Christians, they learned it. They know a lot of these things. They know past the basics. But now I've quit using them. I've gotten carnal, defeated, and I don't care anymore. And now if somebody was to ask me, I wouldn't even know where to go. Somebody asked me something about the Word of God, and I'd say, That's, it's in there, and I believe it, but I don't know how to prove it. It's a choice we make. But we should make the choice to be that committed, victorious Christian um, that we saw here in Romans chapter 12. Just, I beseech ye, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. We need to make that choice. He, he beseeches, he begs here that we make that choice. And it's up to each and every one of us. Well, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we do come.